G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran from Guitar Zero to Hero and the holiday season is upon us so in this lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to play Silent Night on guitar. Now in this video I'm going to teach you two ways of playing this song. I'm going to teach you a nice easy strummed version and then a version that just has some arpeggiating picking that sounds really nice. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play this song using the Jamstick Portable Smart Guitar. Now don't worry though, if you don't have a Jamstick Smart Guitar, it doesn't matter. Everything that I teach you in this video, you can apply it to any guitar and it'll be fine. If you want to learn more about the Jamstick Smart Guitar, then just head to my video unboxing and demo here. For all the Guitar Zero to Hero viewers out there, you also get a very generous discount if you use the code Guitar Zero to Hero at checkout. The link is in the description below. Alright, so let's get stuck into this song. For the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. You'll need to know four chord shapes. The four chord shapes are G. Now actually a really handy tool that you'll find on the Jamstick interface is a chord library here. So if I go to D7, that will show me the shape that I need to play and then I'll just place my fingers there accordingly. And that's D7. We have C major. And finally we have E minor slash C sharp. Now this chord is a little bit different. Now to play this chord, you'll take your ring finger and you'll put it on the fourth fret of the fifth string. And then you'll take your index finger and you'll put it on the second fret of the fourth string and then you'll be plucking from the fifth string onwards you won't be hitting the sixth string so it's just a fifth string onwards and that's E minor slash C sharp alright so let's get into the strummed version of Silent Night and before we get into it I just want to quickly teach you the strumming pattern that you'll use throughout the whole song it's a very simple strumming pattern and it just goes down up down and in succession down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And in context with a chord, down, up, down. And in succession, down, up, down, down, up, down. So for Silent Night, there's four lines of chords. Now up here in the annotation, you'll see a little number above each chord. And that little number will just indicate the amount of strumming patterns that you need to play that particular chord for. So the first line of chords is really easy. It's G for four strumming patterns, then D7 for two strumming patterns, and back to G for two strumming patterns. Then for our second line of chords, we go C for two strumming patterns, and then G for two strumming patterns. Back to C for two strumming patterns, and then back to G for two strumming patterns. For the third line of chords, we go to D7, for two strumming patterns and then we're just going to strum the G once and then the E minor slash C sharp once. Finally for the fourth line we have G for one strumming pattern, D7 for one strumming pattern and then back to G for two strumming patterns. And that's it for the song really. Those four lines are just repeated over and over. Now I'll just go through each line one by one and then I'll play them all together for you. So the first line will just sound like this. Down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. Now this second line. And the third line. Now you'll notice that on the G and then the E minor slash C sharp, I'll just strum them once. And I like playing it like this because I think it builds a little more tension. So the third line. And finally the last line. And now the whole chord progression all together.
So that's it for the strummed version. But now let's get into the picked arpeggiated version. I'm actually just going to change my sound here on the Jamstick interface because I actually like the sound of the 12 string acoustic a bit better. The cool thing about the Jamstick as well is that you can change the sound of your guitar with just a click like that. So now it sounds like I'm playing with a 12 string guitar. All right, so let's get into the picked version. And the chords that we're gonna use are exactly the same. Nothing changes here, except that we're just going to arpeggiate the chords. And what that means is we're gonna pick the strings one by one as opposed to strum. So starting with the G chord, our picking pattern's gonna go like this. We're gonna pluck the bass note of the chord, which is the sixth string. Then we're gonna pluck the fourth string, then the third, then second, and then back to third, and then fourth. So there's six notes in that picking pattern and you kind of just go from the low note up and then back and all together. So there's a total of six notes in that picking pattern and we're going to play that twice for the G. So it'll sound like this. And then we're going to go to our D7 and for the D7 we're going to start by plucking the fourth string and then go to the third, second, first, second, and third. It's just a descending and then ascending picking pattern really. And all together for the D7. And then back to the G for one picking pattern. Then when we get to the C, our picking pattern is gonna be the fifth string and then fourth string third string, second string, third string, and then fourth string. We're going to play that C for just one picking pattern. And then to the G for one picking pattern. Back to the C for one picking pattern. And then back to the G for one picking pattern. Then we get to the third line and we have the D7 for one picking pattern. And then we're just going to strum our G here and our E minor slash C sharp. Then for the fourth line, when we go to the G, we're only going to play half a picking pattern here. So we're going to pluck the sixth string, fourth string, third string, and then we're going to our D7. And we have another half picking pattern here. So it's just fourth string, third string, second string, and then back to G for one full picking pattern. So those last two lines sound like this. And the full chord progression in total will sound like this. And that's it for Silent Night. You just keep repeating that chord progression over and over. So now I'm going to be doing two playthroughs of the song. One, the strummed version, and one, the picked version. I'm going to have a melody track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like. Practice to play along, and see how you go. Thank you. 
hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial for this classic holiday song. I'm absolutely boiling in the Santa top at the moment. If you didn't know, in Australia it's summer over Christmas. So right now it's 38 degrees, which is about 100 Fahrenheit. So I'm absolutely boiling, but in the spirit of the holidays, I figured I'd just endure it for 10 or 20 minutes to teach you guys this awesome song. Again, for all the Guitar Zero to Hero viewers out there, you get a really generous discount off Jamstick Guitars. The link is in the description below. Be sure to head over to GuitarZeroToHero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave your thoughts, comments, and questions below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.